Hey guys, Classic Homer here. Welcome back to more Legends of Link to the Past. So now we're in the Dark World, and well, it's a whole new world to explore. But it has, what, a little more than twice the number of dungeons? So that'll be awesome to get around to. Obviously, we want to pick up that heart piece, and I think I can actually screw around a little bit with these statues. I'm not a big fan of the models in this game, as I'm pretty sure that's what those weird spear-wielding guys are. They just don't carry the same, I don't know, gravitas I think they should. Although these guys are pains in the ass. They take so many fucking hits, and they're goddamn bomb- Ah! Die. The only reason he died so fast is because I dashed through him twice. Like, if I was just trying to kill him through normal sword swings, that would have taken forever. <sighs> oh, you. Also, you guys missed a semi funny moment as I was trying to figure out which save file was mine. Because I still have an old save file from playing, you know, alone. And it has the name Homer. It ended up being at exactly the same point as this one the same number of hearts, same equipment outload. I didn't load it up, so I don't know if I, you know, am at the actual same point, like maybe I missed some heart pieces or something, which I probably did in, you know, in that run. So far, I don't think I missed any. I don't even remember what heart piece I just picked up was. I guess 12? If so, then that means we're halfway through getting all the heart pieces. And over here in, whoa. Arrgh! Quit spamming your bombs! <sighs> Getting me off track. Um, right. Over here in the direction of the Eastern Palace in the Light World is where we'll find the Dark Palace. And we'll find this guy here, who... I th he's like some sort of sage or something. I think he actually has a name. But... If he does, I'm not seeing it in his little thing. I don't really care about reading all this. Oh look there, confirmation, power goal is Triforce. So uh, yeah if you guys really want to read all that, um, pause. I tried to scroll through it slowly enough that you could. So yeah we're going to be finding the Palace of Darkness or Dark Palace or whatever it's called. Grr, screw off bird. Why are birds always so damn annoying in every video game? I mean, really. The ones in this one are a little annoying, but the ones from Ninja Guy in there. Ah, so frustrating! I was trying to play uh, Ninja Guy 1 recently, and I'm not gonna claim I'm really any good at the game. It's hard as shit. And. Yeah, I don't. Uh, uh, uh. It's a good game. But it's a really hard. I I suggest anyone who wants a less than classic gaming go play it. Um, actually, ooh, that's right. Some of the rocks in the dark world are actually enemies waiting to get you. They are mimics and a bee. But I don't have an open bottle, do I? No. You can catch bees and uh, use them as weapons, unleash them, and have them wreak havoc on the enemies. And by wreak havoc, I mean pester them. That's pretty much all they'll do. I thought there was something over here. I'm just exploring around the dark world right now when I probably need to be getting into the, uh... You know what? Sure, I got the money. Do do do. Oh. Yeah, okay, I know what he's talking about. Oh, cool, he healed, he healed me. Hailed me. Uh, weird Ohio accent coming out. I don't know. I swear, everyone my age talks, you know, normal, middle, western, the typical American accent. But everyone older than me in the area has some weird, like, almost southern twang. It makes no sense, because we're not in the south. Like, sure, Kentucky's right next to us, but I don't really consider us to be that... We're one of the most northern states in the... Yeah, the Union. <laughs> in the country. 
but ah, whatever. Weird accents. Then again, my family and all their friends were country music listeners. Maybe that's where it comes from for the people I know. And this is something of a hedge maze that you can't see where you're going, but it's not too bad. And then when you get done with it, you have a monkey following you. And trust me, you want to have him follow you and obey what he says, even though he's a stupid purple monkey. Ugh, damn monkeys. The only monkey he's in goes Diddy Kong. And even then, well, yeah, I know a lot of people didn't like Diddy. And he'll open this thing for a hundred rupees. Hope you guys have been saving up. Then again, there hasn't been much of a reason to spend it besides the flippers. And we didn't really need the flippers when I got them. You will for the next dungeon, but... Well, if you couldn't make 500 rupees by then... I, I don't know. I, I, I don't know what to tell you. Um, pay attention to where I went to get money easily? Ah, great. Now, this dungeon is one that I, uh... I don't... I don't think I remember absolutely everything about where to go to get through it quickly. But I think I could still do it reasonably well. Nope. Like, I don't know where these switches are. I'm just kind of searching until I find them. Unlike in the... Desert Palace, where I at least had an idea where I was supposed to look. I just got the rooms mixed up, because I'm an idiot. Back off. Ah, nope, nope. There it is. And I will definitely take those arrows. Why am I so low on arrows, anyway? I don't remember anything that I, like, really spent them on, except for the boss of the first dungeon. Have I really been low since then? Yeah, there's probably something I'm just forgetting that I like using arrows on. <sighs> like these guys! I'm pretty sure the green- ow. That was stupid of me. I tried to walk up next to him, you know, only assuming my own movement. But if you- it's like, on the horizontal they follow you, but on the vertical they don't. So, yeah. But what you want to do is not get him stuck in the- ah. Let's just go out of the way. Now this red one, he sees you, he'll shoot. So, you want to shoot an arrow and then force him to walk into it. Pretty simple, but uh, creative enough to be interesting. And, oh, when these guys go electric, do not swing or else you will feel the pain. And not the awesome, like, workout kind of pain. Not that I'm, you know, huge into being exercised or whatever, but... Yeah, do it. It's good for you. Maybe you won't have so much flab. Speaking from my own state. Blow the wall up! And this is pretty much the only reason I came over here. I mean, what did I just pick up the map? That's cool. Yay. Also, these weird, like, moles. At least they... I always felt they looked like moles. Then again, I... Now I'm looking at them a little more closely, what I assume was their mouth and teeth. It seems to be their eyes. Uh, damn it. I thought there's a warp in here. That means I have to walk all the way back around. Arrgh. Oh wait, no I don't. I just realized I don't have to walk anywhere, damn it. I have this. But yeah, fairies in that previous room if you wanted them. And if you did walk all the way back up, you can move this statue as a shortcut. Woo! You could skip a whole room. Or you could do what I did and skip the entire backtracking. See, whoa. So, whoa, a little late there, but <laughs> that's because I wasn't expecting it. And then I was reacting to when I should have reacted. <laughs> oh, videos. There we are. So, I got another key. And I'm trying to make my way... Oh, hey, there we go. The statue actually has a point now. Because I would... That's faster than using the mirror. By that point. Uh, bombs. 
Come on, run up here, lay this bomb. And in we go. And this will land us up here in that same room. Which lets us go up to the middle pillar area, if you hadn't noticed it. Because this chest, I think, has the key? Yeah. The big key. The key you really wanted to get. And, of course, hop back down. I hate these freaking turtles. Like, turtles used to be some of my favorite animals. Just because of the Ninja Turtles, because I was a kid born in the 80s and raised in the 90s. Uh, most boys my age were way into turtles. Well, Ninja Turtles. But, um, yeah. Those turtles can screw off. They're stupid. You can't hurt them until you flip them over, and you can't flip them over until you have the item that allows you to do that, which I don't have yet. That's the problem. And I really am not a fan of these. Oh, hey. For some reason I didn't realize I could do this before. Well, cool. There, now he fell down. So this lets us get that stuff taken care of. Um... Hmm. You know what? Let's do that and throw. Go, 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 go. Yeah. For a second, I thought the bomb didn't hit the switch, which would have blown ass. Hit that guy. Oh, crap. I wanted to grab the other pot, but I didn't. Oh, well. At least I was at full health, so he wasn't a big deal to take care of. And then this room reminds me of that room in the castle siege... Uh, there we go. Lantern. Whoa! Ah. Damn it. I really like being at full health. Even though the sword beam doesn't do as much damage as a sword strike, it's kind of nice to have as a long-range weapon without using your ammunition. Oh, well... Um... Wow, are there no torches in... I don't think there are actually any f torches in this room. Which means having the lantern out doesn't help at all. Oh. Ah, indecisive. Okay, this was the way to go. Now, if you saw when I, when I was running across the... Uh, that falling bridge, there's this giant treasure chest with the magic hammer, which is the thing I've needed to flip those turtles over and take care of a lot of things. Those moles can be knocked down by it and it is actually the item you needed to progress any further in the dark world. I didn't show it off but uh, you're pretty much locked into one area until you get this. And it breaks skulls and pots so that's maybe kinda nifty if you were getting tired of picking them up. Oh, shit, that also knocks the turtles back over. And then they move a little faster. It's kind of like the original Mario Brothers. You don't kill the enemy, they can get up and they're twice as fast. And extra pissed. Whoa! Die. And I... I don't remember if there's a point to coming down here. There may be a key, there may not. There's definitely bubbles. And now I'm going to show off this, which should work, so long as I don't suck. There we go. No, I will just suck. Oh, really? <laughs> I ran next to the roofies instead of through them. There we are. But yeah, magic power turns bubbles into fairies. Uh, that was ten arrows, maybe? I don't know. I'm already full on them, so I couldn't tell. And... Want to be cautious because of the stupid bubble. Got him. Okay. And it actually has a big area it affects. Which is nice because I didn't realize that. I was was afraid that I wasn't going to hit. Oh. This is a pretty simple room to get through without taking any damage. As threatening as it may look. And... I don't remember if I can hit it. Nah, I, I won't be able to hit with this. Well, just do it the old-fashioned way, then. 
come into here, hit that. I can't for the life of me remember which way I would need it to be. But, uh, I know in one of the coming rooms that it's going to be a pain. I gotta push this thing all the way up onto the switch because it is a, I don't know, an extra pressure sense of the switch. You have to keep it held down or else it won't work. So, yeah. Just do that. Die. Die. God damn, they take a lot of hits. Unless you're using arrows. I just didn't really feel like using the arrows on the green ones. I guess I should have. And of course, the game makes sure you've got enough arrows. Well, looks like I needed that one down. And then watch the next room need it the other way. Oh well, I'll find out when I get there. Pretty obvious uh, puzzle here, just shoot that and the wall will very slowly move out of the way. <laughs> At least it's not as bad as the demon walls in Final Fantasy IV. You know, they may have been slow, they were fucking deadly. Like, oh my god. Such a good game though. Everyone should go play Final Fantasy IV. Well, okay. Looks like I didn't need to switch this way, but at least if I had screwed it up, the game gave me a chance to fix it. And it's part of the puzzle anyway. I gotta move it again. I don't know. Maybe they thought people wouldn't realize how to flip it from a distance. Um, that's not the hammer. There we go. This next room's, um, hell. We'll just say it's hell. I think there's six of these? Yeah, there's six of these things. And I want to see them if I'm going to... Oh, crap, I have to fight them, don't I? Are right, there to light the torches puzzle. Nope, gotta kill them. Oh, crap. And of course, now I got them all pissed off and they're going really fat. Does this work? I don't know. I don't normally use this. Oh, it froze them. That's good enough for me. Okay. Oh, shit. <laughs> I'm an idiot. I was meaning to crush the frozen enemy, because most of the time when you do that, they drop a lot of magic. Apparently these guys are different. But, sure. Whatever. They eventually died. I mean, that's good enough, right? Just come over here and move this. I like the reference to Zelda 1 that shape was or had, or whatever. It makes me think about the older game, which is not better by any means, but it's nice. And now for the boss. In typical Zelda fashion, you could use the item for the dungeon, but this guy's kind of a pain in the ass to use the hammer on. Oh my god. And his attack is interesting. Oh. Oh, I thought he was going to scorpion tail at me. Just try and stay uh, parallel to these things as they split. Whoa. Oh god, I almost ran into that one. And bombs work better on him, in my opinion, than the hammer. I mean, you could use the hammer, but... Ah, uh, bombs. Too bad these aren't Link Awakening bombs where I could just hold on to them forever and they wouldn't blow up my hand. Eh, but that's not very fun. Awesome! Now, you could use the sword on him, but... I don't want to get that close to him. He might, you know, run into me. Whoa! How did I not get hit? Holy crap! So, yeah, I always use the arrows because he's got this big, you know, glowing green weak spot on his forehead. Reminds me of all the ice witches. Use arrows! Ta-da! And once he's dead, just grab the heart and... The new dungeon clear item gets, which are these crystals full of awesome maiden. Yeah. I kind of just want to play the trooper over this part now. Oh well, she's going to give us a nice little story, and the music's kind of nifty. And of course they thank me. And now they're going to explain how uh, well, Ganon used to be the boss of thieves, which, you know, Ocarina uses in their own story. 
which I guess, you know, helps relate this game and the others. Although I'm not going to get into the free <laughs> discussion about the storyline of Zelda, the split timeline, and uh, I like to think of them in, as they come in sets. It's like Zelda 1 and 2 are together, this and Link's Awakening are together, Majora's Mask and Ocarina of Time are together, not in that order. I guess Wind Waker and uh, Phantom Hourglass and Spirit Tracks are all one. The Oracle games are obviously together. Yeah, I, I don't try and think about them as a full-flowing timeline. You could. Nintendo doesn't want to give a full word on that. And at this point, I'm just rambling about stuff instead of playing the game. So that sounds like a good reason to stop. See you guys later.